Okay, and welcome back. So I've created a set of trigonometric identities video flashcards. And the way to use this is by clicking on the top of the screen the set of cards that you want to work on. Now there's three different ways to use this video. The first way to use this would be by listening to it through your smartphone while driving or on the bus. Uh, I remember driving to school and actually using that time while driving to study you know, flashcards while I was driving, but that became really cumbersome, especially if I wanted to go over specific sets. So what I did is I recorded my flashcards on CD, and I would play it through my car stereo and listen to it on the way to school. Uh, the second way to go about this is while you're at your desk studying at home, what you can do is don't look at the screen, but hit pause by hitting the space bar. Uh, while I'm reciting the cards for you. So as soon as I give you the identity and I say is equal to, as soon as I say is equal to, just hit the pause button to stop it and see if you can figure out what it is. Now because I have the identity on the screen, um, I would advise you not to look at the screen but instead just listen to it. That's the reason why I say them. The reason the other reason why I have it set up like that is because sometimes you may not want to listen to me say it, you just want to see it. In that case you just hit mute on your volume and then you won't hear anything. Uh, the last way to use this would be to queue up the set you want to go over, hit pause, then actually write them down on a piece of paper, and after you're done, hit play and see if you got them right. Okay, so now that you know how to use this, let's begin. So the first set of identities we're going to go over are the fundamental identities. And these include the reciprocal identities, the Pythagorean identities, and the negative angle identities. The fundamental identities. Sine of theta is equal to 1 over cosecant theta. Cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine of theta. Cosine of theta is equal to 1 over secant theta. Secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. Tangent of theta is equal to 1 over cotangent theta. Cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta. Tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Cotangent theta is equal to cosine theta over sine theta. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to secant squared theta. 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. Sine of negative theta is equal to negative sine theta. Cosecant of negative theta is equal to negative cosecant theta. Tangent of negative theta is equal to negative tangent theta. Cotangent negative theta is equal to negative cotangent theta. Cosine negative theta is equal to cosine theta. And secant of negative theta is equal to secant theta. Now we're going to do the sum and difference identities. Cosine of angle A plus B is equal to cosine A times cosine B minus sine A times sine B. Cosine of angle A minus B is equal to cosine A times cosine B plus sine A times sine B. Sine of angle A plus B is equal to sine A times cosine B plus cosine A times sine B. Sine of angle A minus B is equal to sine A times cosine B minus cosine A times sine B. Tangent of A plus B is equal to tangent A plus tangent B all over 1 minus tangent A times tangent B. Tangent of angle A minus B is equal to tangent A minus tangent B all over 1 plus tangent A times tangent B. Now we're going to do the cofunction identities. Sine of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosine theta. Cosine of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to sine theta. Tangent of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cotangent theta. Cotangent of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to tangent theta. Secant of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosecant theta. Cosecant of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to secant theta. Now we're going to do the double angle and half angle identities. 
cosine of 2 theta is equal to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Cosine of 2 theta is equal to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. Sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta times cosine theta. Tangent of 2 theta is equal to 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. Sine of theta over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine theta over 2. Cosine of theta over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine of theta over 2. Tangent of theta over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta. Tangent of theta over 2 is equal to sine theta over 1 plus cosine theta. Tangent of theta over 2 is equal to 1 minus cosine theta over sine theta. Now we're going to do the product to sum and sum to product identities. Cosine of angle A times cosine of angle B is equal to one half of the quantity of cosine of angle A plus B plus cosine of angle A minus B. Sine of A times sine of B is equal to one half of the quantity of cosine of angle A minus B minus cosine of angle A plus B. Sine A times cosine B is equal to one half the quantity of sine of angle A plus B plus sine of angle A minus B. Cosine of A times sine B is equal to one half of the quantity of sine of angle A plus B minus the sine of angle A minus B. Sine of angle A plus sine of angle B is equal to two times sine of angle A plus B over two times cosine of angle A minus B over two. Sine of angle A minus sine of angle B is equal to two times cosine of angle A plus B over two times sine of angle A minus B over two. Cosine of angle A plus cosine of angle B is equal to two times cosine of angle A plus B over two times cosine of angle A minus B over two. Cosine of angle A minus cosine of B is equal to negative two times sine of A plus B over two times sine of A minus B over two.